Warped Rewind. Hi, I'm Craig from Artist vs. Poet. I'm Joe W. from Artist vs. Poet. You're watching Artist and News. It's gonna be a damn rough night for the designated driver, cause it's me and whoever knew. No, we won't remember. Sorry for what I'm about to do. Awesome. It's Amazing. Been, yeah. A lot of fun. It's hard work, but it's, I mean, considering what we're doing, it's not like really work. It's just been fun the whole time. Yeah. So. I don't know. We. <laughs> it's been some crazy nights. I don't know. Yeah. It's uh, been fun times. Um, I don't know if we could say the single most craziest moment yet. So, examples. Someone thinking that their bunk is a different bunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's for different bunk wars and <laughs> games that are played on the bus and this and that. Where have you befriended on the tour? Well, we started off, honestly, there's a lot of bands on this tour that we've toured with in the past. Like, we've toured with uh, Rocket Summer and Love Those Guys and uh, Somerset, Ann Arbor. There's been a lot of friends, I yeah. guess, definitely. And every night is just like, a, you know, a big party, everybody hanging out and everything. So it's been a lot of fun. I met some new ones like Aaron Shikari. Is that what artists have to do today in order to sell albums? And is that the craziest thing you've ever done to sell albums? I don't know if it's the craziest thing we've ever done, but I mean... We're out there every single night, and most times in the mornings we can just trying to get that, to get our music in their hands. I think it's definitely a lot harder now than it used to be even five or ten years ago as far as getting people to respond, because if you notice, you probably weren't the only ones out there, you know, like there's lots of bands out there doing the same thing. Our old bass player used to dress up as uh, Ronald McDonald and go out in the crowds. Yeah. I don't know about the current ones. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, crazy dancing, crazy singing, just anything to get people's attention walking around. So. Yelling at people. Yeah. What's the craziest thing you've seen? I've seen? To sell a CD? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, that, that takes the cake, I guess. Are you happy with Yeah, definitely. Um, we worked with a few different producers on it. Um, Mike Green did half of it, and Zach and Kenneth did the other half, and... We worked with a lot of cool people to like get the product that we now have, and I'm much happier with it than I have been with any other thing that we've ever written. Did it ever get confusing working with more than one person on the album? Uh, not at all. I mean, uh, we've worked with Mike in the past, and Zach and Kenneth were awesome to work with. Um, and do you, have you started thinking about the next album? Yeah, I mean, this one just came out uh, this past March 2nd, so it hasn't been out that long, but... You know, we're always writing and always looking for the future. Even like, because there's a bunch of songs that we don't actually end up, end up keeping for the second album. At least it helps like to uh, keep that muscle working, I guess. Um, we have a tour this fall with um, it's the Fearless tour. Basically, it's got Mayday Parade, Breathe, Breathe Carolina, Every Avenue, and uh, Go Radio. Definitely. Third Eye Blind. Yeah, Third Eye Blind. Um, <coughs> definitely have some songs that kind of have that style to it. Yeah, I mean, we've got a few songs on the record that are are more, that you can tell are more 90s music influenced. And there's a lot of bands out there who you can tell, like, love Third Eye Blind. You know, like yeah. bands like, honestly, The Somerset and The Main mm -hmm. and Rocket Summer, like, or, or Rock to the Moon. Like, I love all those bands, They're kind of bringing back the 90s vibe. The way that I think most of us look at it is it's not necessarily about achieving like a certain success like and then you stop working like it's it's an ongoing thing like every day to kind of improve whether it be our live performance or selling more CDs and impacting more people's lives I mean like honestly it's it's not ever going to be done so I mean like, I think that we're happy with where we've come so far and we hope that we can go a lot further. Forever. So take my keys and hide myself phone If I turn into trouble, at least I won't you